Hey everyone, welcome back to the Aerial Media Pros channel. As a part of our tutorial series on the Tornado H920 from Unique, today we're going to be showing you how to charge batteries. So I'll quickly just run through what's on the table here so you have an idea of what you need. Um, we have our SD24 radio controller. We'll be charging that as well. Of course, our charger power cable, which has already been plugged into the wall here. So that's ready to go. Our batteries. So the charger can support up to two batteries, even though the aircraft can support actually up to three batteries. Um, but this can only charge two at a time. You have your micro USB cable, power cables for the batteries, balance boards, and a smart voltage checker. So I'll be showing you how to use that as well once the batteries are all charged and ready to go. Last but not least, we have a cable here. This is actually a DC connector to be able to connect the charger to your car. So if you're out in the field and don't have a connection to a power supply, you can use these on your car to actually use the charger there as well. And all these cables and everything will be found in your accessory pocket in the original Tornado H920 kit. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. You want to start by plugging in the power cable into the wall first, and then we'll plug it into the back of the charger here. And that will begin to boot up here. You have two channels, one for A and one for B, which is associated with these two different port sides here. So if you need to switch settings or anything like that, make sure you use the selector here on the left to switch between A and B. And then you can use these other decrease and increase buttons to change those numbers. The charger out of the box comes ready for these specific batteries here. These are 4,000 milliamp, 6 cell, 22.2 volts. It even says right on the back here, use specific lithium polymer charger only. So make sure you're using the charger that comes with the kit because it's built for these specific batteries. So on this charger here, it already has the default settings in place. You can see here 4 amps, 22.2 volts, 6 cell battery, which is what these are. Um, so with that, we can go ahead and plug in our balance cables. Right into the bottom here. So those are plugged in. I will take the power cables for the batteries here and plug those in. All right, so you'll want to plug in the balance cable first. This is an adapter here, six cells on the end. This is a six cell battery, so make sure you use the 6S port. Plug that in just like that. Same with this side. And this will be the same process whether you're using two batteries or one. All right, so next we'll plug in this blue adapter here. Make sure you're going black to black, red to red. Let's plug that in. Same thing on this side. Now you won't see anything change on the screen once they're plugged in. It hasn't start the charging process yet. What we do need to do is make sure we're selected on the right channel for A to start charging this battery. Make sure you're selected on A here. And then there's an enter start button. Go ahead and hold that for three seconds. You'll hear it make a sound sequence here. Battery checks and then it asks you to confirm by pressing enter. So we'll, we'll hit that one more time. And now the time clock starts. So it shows you since you started charging the battery, how much time has elapsed, and then it will give you a live feed here. To check the different status of the different cells here, you just click that increase button, second from the right, and it will give you a live feed of the different cells. Now when fully charged, these will be 4.2 volts here. Hit that increase button again, and it'll actually give you a percentage of how full the battery is. So we're looking for, again, 4.2. Let's go ahead and go back, switch channels here. 
So you actually can leave it on that screen. We'll switch to B, and to begin, we'll do the same process. Hold for three seconds. And then when it asks you to confirm, go ahead and click that one more time. And this will take uh, approximately 45 to just over an hour. So we'll get back once that's charging. In the meantime, what you can do is take your radio control here, undo the USB cable, and this actually plugs right into the front of the charger so you could charge your controller while the batteries are charging. So go ahead and plug that into the front here. All right. And right on the bottom of the controller here, you can see USB plug will go in there. And you'll see on the screen here the level of charging. So it doesn't necessarily need to be on to even show you that image. So you can keep it off. If at any point you want to check the charging level, just go ahead and double tap the screen here and it'll bring up that battery capacity. All right. So now we'll just leave everything where it is. And uh, when it's done, we'll show you what it looks like. All right, so it looks like the battery charging is complete. You may hear a sound sequence or it may beep when it is finished. And just make sure the fuel level is at 100% um, or even just check the, the fuel cells to make sure that at, they're at 4.2 volts, which will add up to a total of 25.2 with all six cells. If you know you're going to be not using the batteries once they're fully charged for more than a week, you're going to want to make sure that they're in a storage level capacity, which is around 50 percent. So these don't, you don't want to store them at 100 uh, percent battery or else it's, it, it's not good for the battery cells. And so what we need to do, if that's going to be the case, you can either go out and fly the copter and just bring it down to 50 percent or if you don't have access to a flying field at the time, you could actually plug them in just the way we did for charging. And if you go into the channels here, so we'll select A just to make sure we're working on this battery here. And you'll see right on the top, LiPo balance. So when we are charging the batteries, we do want to make sure that that says LiPo balance. Otherwise, um, it'll either be in LiPo balance, LiPo charge, which we don't recommend because it's not a balanced charging. Fast charge, LiPo storage, which is what we'll be discussing in just a second, and then LiPo discharge. So if you do need to discharge it fully um, for any reason, you can go into that mode as well. But we'll go back with the minus sign here to LiPo storage, and this will bring it down to, like I said, around 50%. So you could actually use the storage function to also charge the battery up to a storage percentage. But if you know the percentage currently is above that and it's going to be discharging the battery, you're going to need to go in and change the amperage on the charger to one amp. So just like charging, we'll go ahead and click that enter, hold it down for three seconds. It'll check the battery and then ask us to confirm. And this will actually be discharging the battery, which will take longer because it's only doing that at around uh, one amp instead of four. So don't exceed one amp if you're doing any sort of discharging or storage discharging. So that's pretty much how you do that. If at any time you need to stop discharging or charging for that matter, go ahead and press the stop button and it will stop the sequence there. If you are out in the field and you don't have access to this charger, to check the battery life. You can go ahead and just unplug everything here. You can use the smart voltage checker here and that plugs into the balance cable. Make sure you match red with red. Go ahead and plug that in. All right, so it's gonna have a sound sequence here. While well, it waits to get an average of all the voltages on each cell. And this will actually outline one by one. One through six, it's gonna tell you the voltage on each cell. All right, so that's pretty much all you need to know for charging, discharging, and placing these batteries in storage. Be sure to check out all the tutorial videos in our Tornado H920 series. Thank you so much for watching.